Easter, everyone. God Yay, bless you. It's risen. It is Resurrection Sunday morning, and here we are together. Here God are bless together. you. In the name of Jesus, we bless you today. Yes. What a beautiful morning it is. Snow mm -hmm. of the yes. Lord. Praise you God. You make it beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. As you come on, internet. Come on. There we are. There. Helps. there we are. Right. We are back and See we are live. Helps. And Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. So as you're logging on here, would you go ahead and just click share and, and invite your friends if you can. If you're able to um, host a watch party. And a watch party is a great way to interact with family and friends and invite them. You can wave at them. You can <laughs> speak to them in this virtual sanctuary Amen. this morning. Yes. God bless you from Good wherever morning. in the world you're watching from today. Yes. We welcome you to this beautiful Easter Sunday morning where we're going to worship God mm -hmm. and we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time together. Yes. God bless you. Amen. Would you go ahead as you're coming on and just click share and invite your friends. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. God Good morning, bless everybody. you. God bless you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Sunday morning. Yeah. Megan, you made it. Praise <laughs> God. Praise God. Just get yourself comfortable this morning. I hope that you had a good breakfast, some coffee. <laughs> I had some strong coffee this morning. <laughs> Praise God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes. Welcome, Janie. Praise God. All the way yeah. from San Diego. Welcome, welcome, praise God. Praise God. Welcome, Macedonia. God bless you. Boji Blagoslo, Boge Dobar, Sekogas. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome, Carol. God bless you. Welcome, Kathy. Awesome. Man, it's feeling good already. It's feeling great. Here this morning. Welcome, Cheryl. Go. God bless you. Strong coffee is the best. <laughs> All right, Mr. P is online this morning. Man, I wish Mr. P was here. Oh, we could, we could lead music. worship together yeah. this morning. Welcome, Laura. Alexandra, all the way from Steep, Macedonia. <laughs> Don says hi. Valerie Joe. I'm looking for T-Rex this morning. And I'm looking for all our Team Connect young people. Come on, get on here, Team Connect kids. Love the heart bombs. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, give us all kinds of those hearts right there. I Give's log right on back. I log on to our friends. Welcome, Stephanie. I welcome, uh, or I get on all of our friends' live feeds, and I just heart bomb them. Bam, ba bam, 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 bam. Yes, welcome, everybody. Great God you. bless you. Welcome to the Bell Richards. Hallelujah. <laughs> Man, my extrovert heart is just pumping <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Welcome, Marina. Welcome, Marina. Boji Blagoslov. Praise God. I'm speaking Peggy in all Keith. kinds of languages. Peggy and Keith. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, Jenny. Oh, has been smiling already. <laughs> this is oh, awesome. Oh, come on, PJ. This is great. <laughs> Hallelujah. Welcome, Janine. Welcome, Joseph. Rosales. I want to see all of our Team Connect kids on here <laughs> because Pastor G is taking Jill. attendance this morning. <laughs> oh, man, my heart feels good. My heart feels good. <laughs> all right. Praise <laughs> God. Oh, don't you feel good this morning? Yeah. Doesn't it feel great to be in church this morning? Yes, it does. Jesus prepared us for this. He, he said, did. wherever two or three are gathered there together in my name, I will be I will with be you. Here. All right. Thank we you, got Lord. one and two, or we maybe one and minute. two, and <laughs> Jesus makes three. Yeah. Oh, that's a We're good place. Together. That's a good place to type amen. amen. This is going to be an interactive service today, <laughs> and I know that God is going to touch your heart, so whenever God touches your heart, just go ahead and type amen <laughs> or hallelujah or hosanna, whatever it is, it just whatever comes it up in your spirit. Praise God. Oh, man. PJ, would you greet this beautiful <laughs> crowd this morning? 
Good morning, everybody. We're so excited to see you, and we're so blessed to be yes, together. Yes, we are. And blessed because of the whole meaning around Easter. Hallelujah. Resurrection Day that we'll be diving into today. So I hope that you prepared your hearts in worship and that your heart is open to receive what God has for you and what God has for us today. Amen. Amen. We've got a great message for you today. All right, I'm going to sing a little song for you today. And this one is going out to Angie K. All right. This is one of Angie K's favorite oh. songs. All right. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the road And the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and He walks with me, and He talks with me. And he tells me I am his own And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever known Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet. The birds hush their singing, and the melody that he gave to me within my heart. Is ringing. Sing it with us. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own, and the joy we share. As we tarry there, none other has ever known. I'd stay in the garden with him, though the night around me is falling. Come on, sing it like a choir. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we take None other has ever known. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever Come on, give a good yes. hand clap to Jesus job, this morning. You make a beautiful, beautiful choir. Yes. God is with us. Pastor Pastor Jill, will you just pray 
over this beautiful service today. Lord, we thank you that your presence is here Hallelujah. With us, Hallelujah. With, here, with each and every one of yes, us. Yes, you are, each Lord. Each and every one of our homes or yes, circles, you are. wherever we are right mm. now. Thank you, Lord, that you are here with us and you are here with us because you have risen. Hallelujah. That tomb is Come on empty, now. Come and on. You are risen and we glorify Praise you today God. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise Thank you, God. Lord. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He bled and died. To buy my pardon An empty grave Is there to prove My Savior lives And because He lives I can face tomorrow Because Thank you. 
Come on, just take a Thank moment you, right Lord. now and give the Lord some praise. Give him Thank some you, praise right you, there in your Thank home. You, that is Thank the you, sanctuary of God today. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Because you praise live, Praise God. All because God. he lives. Hallelujah. You hold our future. That's right. That's right. Praise God. Sorry. PJ. No praise in there. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I got to tell you this, PJ had something in her heart, and that was to participate in a worldwide shout of praise unto God this morning. PJ, can you tell us just a little bit of how that came to be <laughs> and what time it was in the morning? <laughs> I just, you know, it was, I felt the Lord bring up in my spirit several months ago about how powerful and glorious it would be. If there was one moment in time around the globe, whatever time zone somebody was in at the moment, come on now, that we would just shout a praise of of the Lord, a shout, shout out a praise. praise to Jesus, all at the same time, and knowing that as you were shouting it out here where you were, that people in other parts of the world were doing the same, and just thought how yep. wonderful that would be. And then Jenna said she did it. Oh yay! So. Um, I just then felt the Lord leading that this day, this Easter resurrection yeah, day, yeah, yeah. with everything that's going on around the globe right yeah. now, how beautiful it would be to have this the first one. So um, at one, it's you, it's either Greenwich Mountain Time or Universal Time Center you that ever, the whole world bases their time off of, uh -huh. 1 p.m. that time, which was 9 Eastern, 8 Central, and... Six Pacific time, whoever would just wake up and praise the Come Lord together, now. would praise all together and all around the world. There would be different time zones. It was the, the night in China and Australia and praise the Lord that everybody could join that together. So it was a beautiful time. I don't know how many got in on this first one, but I know some did and it was a beautiful, it was beautiful here in our home. I went, out, I went outside and the snowflakes. And all right. All right. right. I, I want you to stop right there. Time out. Time right, out, time BJ. Out. All right. So I want to tell you this. So on Saturday night, I did a Facebook live um, greeting and preparation for today. And I said to the people that night, I said, be very, very careful because the enemy always comes and mm. he brings mischief when you are on your way to worship or when you are yeah, preparing to worship. True. And we know this. I, oh, yeah. I, I'm a third generation pastor and in our home, in our home, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, all hell would break loose when we were headed to church or yes. we were getting ready for church. Man, it just seems like there was disruption and disorganization, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> right. So anyhow, um, last night we had a disruption here in our home. Now it's just peaceful me and PJ here. <laughs> yes. Just peaceful old me Where and is PJ. He? Peaceful George. Oh. So yeah. last night, amen, some things started to go south. And so we just uh, do what we do. Sometimes we just need to give each other a little bit of space, right. etc. So and uh, nothing bad happened. Cops didn't have to be called. <laughs> Neighbors weren't knocking on our doors wondering what was happening. But anyhow, the enemy was up to mischief. And you know what I'm talking about. Just go ahead and type amen. amen. Or yeah, you're talking yeah. to me, preacher. So anyhow, <laughs> we went to bed. We went to bed. And there was this 8 o'clock in the morning global worship thing that PJ had going on. So PJ got up early in the morning. She had coffee going. I could smell coffee. I could smell oatmeal. And then the praise and worship music started. People know what I'm talking about right there. So then all of a sudden, PJ was out here in the living room uh, praising and worshiping God. And I was still in bed. And I just lifted my hands. And I began to worship the Lord. And she had music going on. 
Now, I knew PJ said all this week, 8 o'clock Sunday morning, I'm getting out in our driveway, and I'm going to give be giving a shout of praise to the Lord. And I was thinking, yeah, I wonder what our neighbors are going to think about that. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. but also, Pastor Eileen Woyan from Trinity Lutheran Church instructed people to get out in their driveways and bang pans oh. together and give the Lord a shout of praise. So I thought, well, I know that's not happening at the Marine <laughs> compound. So anyhow, PJ was out here praising the Lord, and I still had this little scrimmage on my mind from last night. And I was thinking, well, you know, I probably got myself in trouble last night. But PJ was out here praising the Lord. I could hear, and I'm in bed praising the Lord, and I have yeah. tears coming down my cheeks. And I kept listening to her. I kept listening for her. And then all of a sudden, I did not hear her voice. I did not hear her voice. But at the same time, I didn't hear the front door open and I didn't hear it closed. So I knew she wasn't out in the snow giving praise to God. So I was laying there praising the Lord, tears streaming down my cheeks. And at the same time, come on now, you're going to know what I'm talking about. I did not hear her voice. And for a split second, I thought, oh my God. The rapture took place <laughs> on this Easter morning and Miss Perfect went with the Lord and not so Mr. Perfect stayed in the bed. I missed the rapture of the church this morning. And you know what the Bible says. It says two are in the bed. One will be taken and the other baby yes. is going to be left. That's oh my gosh. OMG. Oh, I thought the rapture took place and God <laughs> took PJ and left old G behind, man. Oh. And I was thinking, oh Lord, oh Lord, <laughs> I'm praising you. I'm going to have to go through the great tribulation. I am not taking the mark of the beast. Oh my Lord. So what a glorious <laughs> Easter Sunday morning yeah. we have had here in our home. Happy Easter, babe. Happy Easter. Praise God. We're a team we that works together. No Praise God. What. All right. PJ is going to talk to you a little bit about giving mm -hmm. this morning. And later on in the service, we're going to receive communion together. So mm -hmm. get that bread, get that grape juice, or whatever you have. Maybe it's a cracker. Maybe it's a tortilla. One of our friends did communion on Good Friday night, and he says, with everybody in quarantine, you may not have anything, but if you got a tortilla chip, we're going to use yeah, that for communion yeah, this morning. Yeah. Praise God. Go ahead, PJ. So Pastor G is going to be talking a little bit about some of the um, some of the uh, missions needs that are, that we've heard of around the world that we'll be um, receiving an offering for this morning to help with. But as far as tithe or any kind of offering, there are several ways that are yep. easy to give, and they're up in the heading Hallelujah. of this video, hopefully. So one easy way to give is to text CONNECT, number two give, CONNECT, number two give, all in caps, Yep. to the number 77977. 77977. So that's up in the heading. There's also a link there through PushPay that you can easily access hopefully and set up your giving and when you go in you can designate uh, if you want it for missions tithe offering like that like that and then the other option would be to snail mail send a check to yep. gcc p.o box one albert lee minnesota yeah. 56007 and that's in the heading as well praise god and it's been so beautiful to see the people of grace christian church and SoCal Connect remain faithful mm -hmm. yes. in these trying times. Yes. And I want Praise you to God. know, if you will remain faithful to God, mm -hmm. God will remain faithful he to is. you. Yes. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to receive the tithes okay. right now. We're going to receive the 10% of our living right now. So if you would go to text to give, are they still giving on PayPal? It is still an option okay. for those who already have All right. that going on. You All can right. still continue that. So if you're going to give online right now, you can go right to text to give. Um, that's connect to Grace. Well, if you're giving online, you can okay. easily access the link in oh, the heading. Very good. Very Otherwise, good. we can pick up our phone and we can start a new message. And where it says to, we can say 77977. All right. And then in the message, just say connect 
to grace, all in caps. Connect all right. Number two, grace. So we're going to receive the Lord's tithe right now. But I'm going to ask you at the end of this service to join with me and PJ, and we are going to receive a special emergency mission offering in this yeah. morning service. It'll you make a big you know difference. that we minister here locally. We minister in the state. We minister mm -hmm. nationally and internationally. Mm -hmm. And today we have some international missions that are in desperate yes. need of the American church right now. In desperate, desperate need. So yes. PJ and I prayed about this last night and we said, yes, today we're going to take a step of faith today. and we're going to receive the Lord's tithes <laughs> in the middle of the service and at the end of the service based on the sacrifice that Jesus Christ paid for us. We are going to ask the people to join us in a sacrificial emergency mission offering Amen. this morning. And I want you to know, we vet our missions very, very mm -hmm. strongly, mm -hmm. and we make sure that the, the money is going to the work that it's intended to be. We trust our boots on the ground. Yes. So at the end of this service, we are going to ask you to join us in a sacrificial emergency missions offering this morning. And we're going to get that through Western Union and PayPal to our boots on the ground in Macedonia and in Tijuana, Mexico. So thank you yes. very, very, very much. Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you would go ahead and do that now and just go to the links and give uh, the Lord his offerings right now. Praise God. And get ready. We're going to preach the word of God. And I'm going I'm to prepare our communion pieces. All right. <clears throat> Praise God. We're going to look at uh, several verses of scripture this morning in our message. And again, I'm going to ask you to please not do any multitasking during this service. Please don't do any multitasking. I'm, I'm asking you to zero in, to lean in strongly here. And let us honor the Lord, number one. Let us honor the Lord. And let us honor the body of Christ that is worshiping together right now. And let us honor the voice that God has chosen to speak to us in this hour. Amen. If you would get your Bibles or your phones or whatever it is that you use to read the scriptures. And we are going to continue on in our sermon series sequestered by God, sequestered by God. When God's people are sequestered by him, when God's people are sequestered by him. And I got to tell you from the bottom of my heart, I have been most excited about sharing this Easter message with you from, from this perspective of being sequestered by God. It's going to be life-changing today. All right, so we're going to turn to our foundational scripture this morning, Psalms 91, Psalms 91, and we're going to begin reading with verse 1. Psalms 91, beginning with verse 1. Here's how it reads. Whoever dwells in the shelter, that's the secret place of the Most High, will rest under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers yeah. and under his wings you will find <laughs> refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Amen. son, we gather together as the body of Christ. We thank you that our yeah. homes are the sanctuary, yeah. the safe place where God will meet with his people. Yes. We thank you that you, O oh Lord, are the invisible guest in our home. And yes. we give you the praise and we give you the glory. Yes. And as we release this word, may it be the shot that is heard 
all around the world yes. today. Amen. May somebody be born again. Yes. May somebody recommit their hearts yes. to Jesus. Yes. And may somebody's life be changed amen. forever. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen and amen. That's a good place to type amen. amen. Sequestered by God. For the past couple of weeks, we have been coming to you through this media platform of, of Facebook Live. And we've been sharing with you the opportunity to flip the coin in our mind. Flip the coin in our mind. That we are not sequestered by COVID-19. We're not sequestered by mandate of the government. We are not sequestered even to keep ourselves healthy and whole. But God always sends his grace and his shadow of protection he stretches out his wings over his yes, people. Yes. And there are times in history that God has caused his people to be sequestered. Right. So we are asking you this morning to flip that coin, flip coin. in your head. Don't see yourself as cooped up, uh, um, tied up, mm -hmm. shackled up, right. hunkered down in mm -hmm. your home. You have been sequestered by the will of God in your life Amen. today. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing better than that. We Nothing are sequestered by God in this season. Amen. And we have told you over the past few weeks, it, there is always a time of preparation when God is going to sequester his people. Now, whether his people are listening or not, that's not on God. That's on us. Yeah. And then number two, there's always a great purpose that God has to yes, the sequestration. That's right. Number three, not always is the sequestration um, a bed of roses. Not always does it feel like a Caribbean cruise. Not always mm. does it feel like the thing that's most comfortable to us. But many times, I would say most times, when God sequesters his people, it's a time of discomfort. But I want you to know that Jesus already prepared us for that. In John chapter 14, Jesus said to his disciples, hey guys, I'm going to leave you. I've been with you for three and a half yeah. years, but it's time for the son of man to go and be tortured and killed. Mm -hmm. And they're going to kill me. They're going to bear, put me in a tomb. Yeah. But in three days, I'm going to rise up again. I'm going to rise from the dead. Yeah. And so Jesus told them, I'm going back to the Father, but I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I will not abandon you. I will come to you in the form of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And Jesus said, God is going to send you another comforter. Yes. So when we are sequestered and it's uncomfortable, we draw on the presence of the Holy Spirit which is our comforter. Right. And so for the born again believer, the Holy Spirit comforts us in uncomfortable situations. Oh thank man, you, we could thank wrap you, this Lord. up right there, PJ, because so I you, just preach myself <laughs> happy. Hallelujah. All right. So let's jump into this right now. And I believe this is going to change your life. So sequestered means isolated or hidden away. So we want you to see yourselves as being isolated by the hand of God. Mm -hmm. Right now, as believers, we are hidden away by God. Yeah. And David was writing to us that whoever it is, red or yellow, black or white, male, female, anybody, any ethnicity, any tribe, any tongue, any race of people, whoever it is, that finds themselves under the shelter of the Most High God, those people are going to be protected by God. And there's an assurance, there's an assurance that comes in our heart that says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, yes. my God in whom Ooh, I, I trust. trust. Yeah. We find refuge by being sequestered isolated, hidden away by God. Now, here's the Easter message right now. Right. I'm going to tell you twice today that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was actually sequestered by God the Father. Mm. 
Jesus himself, and I'm telling you, we've been building up to this Resurrection Sunday where we can release what I believe is the most powerful message God has ever delivered to my heart. Jesus, two times in his life that we're going to focus on today, they were incredibly significant Mm -hmm. sequestrations by God. Number one, we find it in Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. I want you to lean in very closely here and listen as PJ reads these verses to us. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Jesus, the first one we're going to look at, Jesus was sequestered to the wilderness Mm -hmm. by the will of God. He was sequestered to the desert Mm -hmm. by the will of God. So, Matthew said, then Jesus was led, check this out, Jesus was led by the Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit of God, into the wilderness. Jesus was going to be sequestered for 40 days and 40 nights in the desert. And then the Bible says he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, check this out, to be tempted by the devil. Yes. To be tempted by the devil. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you there's always a time of preparation. Yes. There's always a purpose and hardly ever is the time of sequestration comfortable. Now, of all the people that PJ and I have taught you in the past few weeks, Noah and his family, Joseph, Mm -hmm. the Israelites, we talked about the prophet Daniel. Every single one of those people, PJ, Mm -hmm. when they were sequestered, they were sequestered with people or animals. True. Sometimes both. People or animals. Check it out. Noah and his family had a bunch of animals in there sequestered 40 days 40 nights uh the children of israel they were sequestered with millions of people and their sheep because remember they had to take the sheep kill the sheep put the blood on the doorpost Mm -hmm. right daniel daniel was sequestered to the pit with hungry lions lions. that should have devoured him yes all right joseph was sequestered to the pit And then he was sequestered in Potiphar's house with other slaves and wealthy people. And then when he was sequestered in prison, he was sequestered with other prisoners. But these stories are different than the sequestration of Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus was led by the Spirit, oh my gosh, into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Right. So PJ, mm-hmm. Jesus, the son of God, mm-hmm. when he was sequestered by God, he had to spend 40 days and 40 nights with the devil. Some hard work he went through. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. You know what? Mm-hmm. Maybe some of you right now when you're isolated mm-hmm. and hidden away, maybe you feel like you've been sequestered with the devil. Oh Lord, oh Lord. The preacher just went to meddling. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Now, check this out. Jesus' time of sequestration in the wilderness, 40 days and 40 nights. Doesn't that sound a lot like Noah? Yes. Noah and his family, 40 days and 40 nights. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says that the end of days are going to look like Mm -hmm. Noah's day. Right. Noah went into the ark, a righteous man with seven of his family members, and in a time when animals were smarter than people, they went by the voice of God in there. Forty days, forty nights, they came out as the last family standing on earth. God always correlates the word of God. The word of God never contradicts itself. It always interprets itself and accompanies itself with great grace. Amen. So Jesus' time of sequestration in the wilderness, he had to spend it with the devil. And three times the devil 
came against him to tempt him. Mm -hmm. He tempted him because he knew Jesus was hungry. Was hungry. Jesus was going without food and water. Oh, and he yes. said, if you are the son of God, turn those rocks into bread. Now, Jesus could have done it, but he yes, didn't. He, he came back with this word. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. In other words, there are things that man can do for you, but you can't live eternally on it. You can only live eternally on what God gets to you. Yes. Oh, that's a good amen. place to say amen. amen. Secondly, he came to him by trying to get him to worship him. Right. And Jesus came back at him and he said, Nah, uh it is written, you mm -hmm. shall not worship anybody else other than the Lord yes. your God. The third thing was he tried to get Jesus to take his own life. He yes. took him up way on top of the peak of mm -hmm. the temple and he said, throw yourself out, throw yourself down and see if the angels will come and rescue you. And Jesus said, uh-uh, it is written, you shall not tempt the Lord thy God. Right. I'm telling you right now, Jesus' purpose for being sequestered by God in the wilderness with the devil himself was to prove his power and victory over Satan himself. Amen. I'm here to tell you today, some of you, you've gone into this and the devil has been fighting you. It seems like every demon from hell has been coming against you to get you discouraged, to get you anxious, right. to get you depressed, mm -hmm. to get you angry, whatever he's been throwing at you. But I want you to know, just like Jesus, you're going to come out of this thing completely victorious yeah. because you weren't sequestered by some plague. You were sequestered by the mighty hand and of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank and whatever you, the devil brings against you, you got to fight him back yes, with the do. word of God. Yes. Dig into the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mind the yes. gold truths that are in the word of yes. God. And when that old Leviathan picks up his head and he slaps you, you smack him smack back him with the word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, one of my favorite movies that I've loved to watch is called The Untouchables. And I love it when when uh, Sean Connery says to um, uh, Kevin Costner in the movie, he says, if they come against you with a knife, you come against them with a gun. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the way you got to fight the devil. I know I just did a terrible <laughs> impersonation of Sean Connery, but that's what I'm telling you. The devil comes to stab you, you shoot that bad yeah. boy. He comes against you with a gun, you come against him with a cannon. Yeah. Amen. Just like David said to Goliath, you come against me with sword and spear, but I come against you in the name Amen. of the Lord God yes. of hosts. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Man, I feel like a gospel preacher this Praise morning. God. Now, let's get to the real meat of the story. All right. The second time we read in Matthew chapter 27, verses 57 to 61. Matthew 27, verses 57 to 50, 61. We read that on the night that Jesus was crucified, there came a very wealthy man named Joseph of Arimathea. Mm -hmm. And he went to Pilate. And he said, now notice how powerful this man was, that he was able to get to the Roman emperor. And he said to Pilate, let me have the body of Jesus. Let me take the body of this one, yeah. Jesus Christ. And he said to Pilate, I have a tomb and I'm going to take that body and I'm going to lay that body in my own tomb. And Pilate said, go. Do it. And Joseph of Arimathea went to the cross, and the Bible says that he lowered the body of Jesus and he wrapped it in a white linen sheet and he carried the body of Jesus to his own tomb. And they had the stone moved from the mouth of the tomb. And Joseph of Arimathea, this very influential, powerful man, he he just came to appreciate 
Jesus and had a relationship with Jesus. And he took that body, that dead body of the Savior, and he laid it in his own tomb. And then they caused the stone to be rolled in, the, in front of the mouth of that tomb. Mm -hmm. And the emperors and the kings came and they sealed with their ring and wax a seal on that tomb so that nobody could get into that tomb. Yes. And there the body of Jesus Christ laid dead and sequestered yes. mm -hmm. by the will of God. I've never seen this in scripture before mm -hmm. until today. Jesus was sequestered inside of a borrowed tomb. And you know what encourages me about that? Jesus didn't invest any money in buying. He knew mm -hmm. that he was only going to be in there three days. Right. He knew he wasn't going to need it forever. Jesus had prophesied to the people, you destroy this temple and in three days, I'm going to raise it up again. It up so again. they took that body of Jesus they put it in the tomb. They closed off the mouth of the tomb. And there Jesus, the Son of God, was sequestered by God. But I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you this yes. morning, just like Jesus said, three days, destroy this body, this temple, and in three days, I will raise it up yeah. again. And we know, according to Scripture, that on the third day, there was an earthquake. Man, things begin to rock and roll. Shook. Things begin to shake. Yeah. And the Bible says that an angel moved the stone away. It rolled that stone away. Yes. And I want you to know this this morning. God did not move the stone so that Jesus could get out. No, 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 no. Jesus had the power to walk on water. He had the power to forgive sins. He had the power to read the hearts of yeah. men. He had the power to be raised from Thank the dead. You, he did not need anybody or any angel to have to let him out. But the stone was removed so that people like you and me could look inside yes. the empty tomb yes. and say, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. He, is he is risen from risen. the dead. Amen. He is risen indeed. He is risen indeed. So hallelujah. on the third day, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus came out of sequestration by the hand of God. And he came out with victory over death, hell, and the grave. I'm telling you, he is alive this morning. Yes. He is alive and well. Yes. He is alive and he's present yes. with us this yes. morning yes. in our yes. home. High five, PJ. Amen. Amen. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. And then the Bible says, the Bible says that if that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he will quicken, which means make alive your mortal body. Mm -hmm. And he will cause you to walk in the newness of life. So here's my prophetic word for you today. You have been sequestered by the hand and by the will of God. Yeah. You've not been sequestered by a pestilence. You are being held in isolation hidden away under the mighty hand yes, of God. Yes. And just like Jesus Christ, after a little while, after a little while, the stone will be removed. Yes. The angels of God will be there Amen. to declare my church, my church yes. that Jesus said, yes. Yes. my church will be built upon the rock and the gates of hell cannot prevail yeah. against it. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The church is coming out of sequestration. Yes. Yes. The church will be glorious, yes. gloriously yes. bathed yes. in the anointing of God, Praise in the God. light of his glory, and the whole yes. world will see what God does in the midst of the church yes. when they have been sequestered by God. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen. hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands amen. right now and give the Lord some praise. Praise God. Praise you, Lord. Praise God. Praise, praise, praise God. We praise you, Lord. Let's pray hallelujah. right now. Father, thank you for the release thank of this you, word. Thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, that you've changed minds. You've changed hearts yes. and you're changing lives yes. right now yes. in the name of yes. Jesus. We give you praise. 
for yes. this beautiful, extra special yes. Easter you, service Lord. today. Thank you, In the Lord. name of Jesus, amen. Amen. PJ, let's partake of communion this morning. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Man, it got hot in this house this morning. <laughs> the presence of God is here. Praise if God. you would, would you take the elements in your hands right now? Whether it's a cracker, whether it's a piece of bread, a tortilla, whatever it is that you have on hand. It is symbolic of yes. the body that was given for us, the body of Jesus. Yes. On the night that Jesus was crucified, he took bread and he gave thanks. Yes. And he broke it. And he gave it to each of his disciples. And he said, whenever you eat of this yes. bread, do it in my remembrance. Yes. Today, Lord, we remember the broken body of Jesus oh, thank you, Lord. that was given for us. We receive you, it thank today you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In like manner, Jesus took the cup and he poured into it the fruit of the vine. Mm -hmm. And he said, this cup represents the new covenant that I'm making with you tonight. Yes. And this is the blood that I'm shedding for you tonight. Yes. Thank and every time you drink of it, do it in remembrance of me. Lord, today we remember Thank you, Jesus. your shed blood, dear Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's partake of the juice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Father God, by the power of the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And the authority of the word of God. Thank you, Lord. We declare the glory of the resurrection yes, today. Yes, yes. Loudly and boldly, yes. we proclaim it today. Yes. And every good and godly benefit that comes to us Everyone. when we partake of the Holy yes. Communion, yes. Yes. we receive it into our bodies yes. today. In, Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Would you give a mighty hand clap unto the Lord right now? Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hands out. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, brothers and sisters, we're going to bring this service to a close. PJ, may I have my guitar? Right now, we're going to sing a song called, Oh, I Want to See Him. And I'm going to ask you, if you would now, prepare your emergency sacrificial missions <clears throat> offering right now. If you need to write out a check and write out an envelope, P.O. Box 1, Albert Lee, Minnesota, 56007. And please memo it, yeah. um, missions offering. If you need to go to text to give, you can do that now to 77977. Praise God. You can choose missions in there as well. You can use missions there as well. Mm -hmm. And we are going to send this to our missionaries in Macedonia and Tijuana, Mexico. So if you would do that now. Praise God. I'm going to take mm -hmm. you way back to mm -hmm. old-time Baptist Christianity, mm -hmm. old-time Pentecost right now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow. Many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on, through Him I must win. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face, there to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice, cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. I want to see him look upon his face, there to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice, cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. 
When in service for my Lord, dark may be the night, but I'll cling more close to Him. He will give me light. Satan's snares may vex my soul, turn my thoughts aside, but my Lord goes ahead, leaves whatever. Savior there, leading in the fight, with the tender hand outstretched towards the valley low, guiding me, I can see as I onward go. safely keep and he leads me gently on through the world below he's a real friend to me oh I love him so oh I want to see him look upon his face there to sing forever of his saving Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, God bless you. Thank you for spending this glorious Easter Sunday yes. with us. Praise God. Praise now, God. we're going to jump from here on to Zoom. Zoom, Zoom, you Zoom. are Zoom. welcome to join us. I will maybe put the meeting yes. number in the comments. It is further down on our page. Yep. But you are welcome for a little bit of fellowship and prayer. Hallelujah. Yeah. We want you to join with us. We're going to have an after Easter time. service party where we can just fellowship, see one another. And then if you have any special prayer you requests, you look like. oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> By the way, I've gotten hundreds of compliments <laughs> on PJ's haircut Thank for you, me. Lord. Praise God. So we will see you yeah, at Zoom, Zoom right us. now. Please, please dig deep today for that emergency yes. mission offering. P.O. Box 1, Albert Lee, Minnesota, 56007, yep. or text to give. Uh, say that again, connect to Grace, Connect all number caps. two, Grace, all in connect caps. Connect number two, Grace, all caps, to, the to 77977. <laughs> or if you're still using PayPal, you know you where know. to get us. Yep, That's you can do that too. GCC, Albert Lee, at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. We love you. We Happy love you. Easter. Mwah. <laughs>